Hello and welcome Panda Players to Panda Plays and today we are reacting to the January 9th 2020 Pokemon Direct. Uh, it came out uh, about seven hours ago. I mean but I've had school and I don't get up early so. <laughs> anyway I don't um I don't really have any expectations for this. Uh, it seems weird for Pokemon to have a direct a 20 minute direct in January. I'm kind of hoping that they do another um, remake for the next, for the old um, Pokemon games like they did with Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Because uh, I want to play the old games. Um, I never got a chance to, so I would like that to be announced. Um, and then just that I'm talking about. Uh, like Pokemon home and sleep and plus plus or whatever really just interested in the sleep one even though it's connected to uh, Pokemon Go and I don't have Pokemon Go so whatever <laughs> I just like sleeping <laughs> all right so without further ado let's get into this starting in three two one Welcome to the Pokemon Direct. I'm Ishihara Thanks. of the Pokemon Company. In today's broadcast, I'd like to touch on two topics. Two? Let's get started with the first topic. Okay. Have a look at the following footage. I will. 2006. Okay. Please wake up. Come on, wake up. What the heck? Pokemon Mystery Dungeon <laughs> Rescue what? Team DX. I don't know what this is. What the heck? Oh yeah, isn't there supposed to be like a sequel to Detective Pikachu too? I don't know what this is. <laughs> Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Mystery Dungeon is like a like a dungeon crawler. It's been about 15 years since Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team were released for the Nintendo what? DS and Game Boy Advance systems. I didn't even know that was a thing! But now they will gain a new life as a Nintendo Switch title. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Oh, so is it the same game? 6, 2020. <sighs> same game, just... What's more, we'll release a demo version on Nintendo eShop available later today. I'll play the demo. You'll be able to carry over your save data to the full version of the game hmm. once purchased. So please take this opportunity. I don't know to if I'd buy the game the though. Phone. Now, <laughs> for the other topic, I think we'll ask Game Freak to share it with you. Mr. Masuda, Aren't you a Mr. part Omori, of Game Freak? It's all yours. That Pikachu looked like he had like blood coming out of the back of his head. Hello, everyone. I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Hello, and I'm Amori, also from Game Freak. What? We hope everyone has been finding something to enjoy in the latest entries to the Pokemon series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, since their release last November. Well, I like it well enough. Our goal is always to deliver lively new adventures that delight Pokemon trainers around the world. We did our best to fill these titles with fun activities so that our players could have a fulfilling experience. And the Galar region is a vast one. We suspect you've had many new discoveries and fun encounters along your adventure. We've been thinking about how much we'd like it if everyone's Pokemon adventures could go on even longer, with more to dig into and new discoveries to explore. This is DLC? We've been working on plans for some time, in fact. Really? 
This is why we at Game Freak are now developing the Pokemon Sword expansion pass oh and the Pokemon gosh. Shield expansion pass. <laughs> why don't you just Download release the game later? <laughs> the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games that will be available for purchase from Nintendo eShop. Uh, for purchase? Mm. Until now, we've sometimes released new titles set in the same region as previous games, such as Pokemon Platinum version or Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. Yeah. This expansion pass will be different from those games. You'll be able to set out on new adventures using the save data you're already playing with. Okay. We're in the thick of development now, but we've prepared some footage for you so you'll be able to at least get a feeling for what new experiences await you. Okay. Please have a look. I will have a look. It's old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you for concept art. I love concept art. Is that Galarian Slowpoke? Oh hey, what's the little old guy Jojo thing in a different Pokemon game? Like black and white? More customization! Other original starters in the game. <laughs> the Isle of Armor. Huh. is this island? This looks pretty big. As if this DLC is like big, then I'd say it's worth it. Oh, teasing the evolution. <laughs> forms of legendaries? Oh, 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 two of them. Oh, interesting. Not actual game footage. I couldn't tell. <laughs> he looks so grumpy. What the heck? <laughs> what is going on? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, is that a legendary for... What did you think of this first look? The Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and the Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass will be composed of the Isle of Armor, planned to be released June 2020. <laughs> and the Crown Tundra, planned to be released in Fall 2020. Hmm. If you buy the Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, 
you'll be able to enjoy both as they're released. Yeah, crap. I'll probably get it. <laughs> Each part offers a different adventure. Where you'll be able to visit unseen areas of the Galar region and meet new people and Pokemon that live there. There are two versions of the expansion packs. One for Pokemon wow. Sword and one for Pokemon Shield. Different Pokemon will appear in the different versions, and you'll also run into some different people and places. Hmm. We're hoping players can continue with the classic Pokemon experience of trading with one another and working together. Now, without further ado, let's have the director himself present more information on the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Mr. Tani? Okay, I'm interested. <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> Hello. I'm Tani from Game Freak. I'm working as the director for the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. <laughs> the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra are in development as we speak. So today, we'd like to show off some designs and concept art to help introduce you to these new areas. Okay, deep dive. Your adventures in Galar are getting even bigger. First, let us introduce the Isle of Armor, which focuses on the theme of growth. Take a look. Okay. The next destination in your adventure is a giant island off the shores of the Gala region known as the Isle of Armor. This island is full of beautiful nature. You'll find beaches, bogs, forests, they have this caves, done and by caves. June? And of course, you'll find Pokemon that you couldn't previously find in Galar Dwelling there too. There's a dojo for Pokemon battles on this <laughs> island. Scourge, it's so cute. And you'll take up an apprenticeship under the Pokemon trainer who runs it. Oh, okay. This is Mustard, who <laughs> will become your mentor. He's also the mentor of Champion Leon, who you probably know quite well. In fact, uh -huh. Mustard has occupied the seat of Champion himself in the past. You'll also encounter new rivals among your fellow apprentices. When playing with the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass, you'll be training with Clara who is a poison type user. <laughs> when playing with the Pokemon Shield expansion pass, you will be training with Avery, who is a psychic type user. Okay. They're both training hard so they can someday have a gym and stadium to call their <laughs> what own. What is this outfit? like purple and rainbows. Next, we'd like to introduce the legendary Pokemon that will be central to the story. Ooh, legendary, yes. What? Cub Fu. <laughs> it's a fighting type Pokemon that strives to become stronger with fighting legendary. Dedication. As you progress through your training, Mustard will entrust you with this Pokemon. <laughs> Once you complete your training together with Cub Fu, it will be able to evolve what into the Urshifu. Heck? Urshifu is a Pokemon with two distinct styles. Oh my gosh. There is Single Strike style, a Fighting and Dark type style that delivers a single strike at blinding speed. There is also Rapid Strike style. A fighting in water type style that focuses on unleashing a torrent of rapid strikes. Mm -hmm. What's more, it's been revealed that Urshifu has a Gigantamax form. Each style will have a different appearance, <laughs> as well as a different G-Max move. You'll be able to evolve okay. your Kung Fu into an Urshifu in one of these two styles, Single Strike Style or Rapid Strike Style, during your adventure. Urshifu is a powerful Pokémon with a brand new ability. And it also has a new move for each of its two styles. Once you've completed your training, bring it with you for some online battles or official competitions. Uh -huh. We also want to talk about Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Inteleon, final evolutions of the first three Pokémon you team up with in the Galar region. During your adventure in the Isle of Armor, these special partners in your teams will be able to Gigantamax. You can look forward to seeing okay. their new forms and new G-Max moves. And as you can see here, we've got even more in the works to make sure your journey is as smooth and fun as possible. Okay. There are new fashion items, and you'll even be able to obtain new looks for your bike. <laughs> nice. We hope you'll look forward to the new experiences Those coming cool. in the Isle of Armor. I love Bulbasaur. Next, I'd like to discuss the Crown Tundra, the second area, which has a Give it to of me. exploration. I'm going to show you the information we have at the moment. 
This expansion is set in the snow-swept realm of the Crown Tundra. Take a look for yourself at the beautiful scenery of this shining, silvery landscape. As it turns out, the Isle of Armor isn't the only uncharted area waiting for you all in the Gala region. In this frigid area, with its towering winter mountains, people live in small communities that support and rely on each other. Much like on the Isle of Armor, you'll be able to find Pokémon that didn't appear in the Gala region before. Like? Fitting right in with this area's theme of exploration, there will be plenty for you to uncover. You might find a strange temple where you least expect it, or maybe spy a mysterious giant tree growing in a place it doesn't seem to belong. <laughs> a certain person will appoint you as the leader of their exploration team in the Crown Tundra. <laughs> you can gear up for adventure, person. and then head okay. out to explore blizzard-swept fields, and even deep inside Pokemon dens, which you could only previously get a glimpse of during max raid battles. Next, we'd like to introduce Calyrex the legendary Pokemon you'll discover during your adventure. Legends say this Pokemon once ruled the over a part that included what? the Crown Tundra. It's, it's characterized crossover. by its graceful, regal movements. Get ready to experience a never-before-told story about the mysteries of Calyrex. Okay. Crown Tundra will have a new form of co-op play as well. This will allow you and friends to enter and explore Pokemon dens that exist underground in the Crown Tundra. Deep inside the dens, you may see legendary Pokemon from past games Dynamaxing before your eyes. Oh, interesting. You'll be able to meet and make allies of all kinds of legendary Pokemon during okay. your adventures in the Crown Tundra. Nice. Including ones you'll be able to catch through this co-op play. <sighs> I have to convince my friend to, to get a Switch Pokemon and buy this game. <laughs> to be found somewhere in this land. And combined with the Isle of Armor, dozens of new clothing items will be added. Plus, there will be new battles waiting for you to challenge once you complete your entire game, including the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. We can't go into the details of everything, but we're working on planning and developing new ways to enjoy Pokémon even as we speak. The Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra areas themselves are actually two key examples of the things we're working on. Both areas are in fact seamless maps, much like the wild area you can already experience in the gallery, where players are able to move around freely and control the camera. Of course, okay. you'll be able to connect with other trainers and play with them, too. There will be Pokemon dens as well, and you'll be able to engage in max raid battles against Pokemon that haven't previously appeared in the Gala region. There's more to see and do on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra than there was even in the Wild area. <laughs> what? We'll bring you more information about them in future news reports, so please stay tuned. Hmm. What did you think? We yeah, you got me. All working hard to bring you new content. And now I gotta convince my friend so to buy a switch. you can spend more time having fun <laughs> in the Gala region. <laughs> we hope you're as excited as we are for what's to come. Bye. Thank you, Mr. Tani. On the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra, you'll see some familiar Pokemon that didn't appear in the Gala region before. There will be more than 200 Pokemon species that appear in these areas, and you can add to your team, including the legendary Pokemon mentioned before. <laughs> Here's all the Pokemon you were pissed about that were in the game. Updates for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield <coughs> that will coincide with the releases of the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. These updates will allow people who don't have the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion pass to obtain the Pokemon that appear on the Isle of Armor and oh, in the Crown that's Tundra nice. through other means, such as trading. It's considerate Players of them. will also be able to bring over Pokemon to their games from the cloud service Pokemon Home as yes. long as the Pokemon appear when in the is Pokemon, Pokemon Home Sword coming out? Not that I'll ever get it. Packs. Pokemon Home is planned to launch in February oh, okay. 2020. Hmm. Yeah, it's a paid service. We intend to release <laughs> even more details before then, so please wait just a little bit longer. Finally, we have some more news for our Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield players. Starting today, it seems like you're more likely to run into Gigantamax Colossal, Gigantamax Lapras, and Gigantamax Flapple or Gigantamax Appleton in max raid battles in the wild area. Face these powerful Pokemon with your friends. 
There will also be a software update going live available later today. Once you've received the update, head to Wedgehurst Station. In Pokemon Sword, you'll encounter Clara. While in Pokemon Shield, you'll run into Avery. <laughs> you'll also encounter a Galarian Slowpoke that's wandered in from the Isle of Armor. You can try to catch it and add it to your team. Oh, nice. Galarian Slowpoke can evolve into Galarian Slowbro if you use an item that can be found on the Isle of Armor. Oh, I see. Or into Galarian Slowking. You have to wait till the expansion comes out. Tundra. Don't forget to check it out. What did you think? Today, we've finally been able to show you some of what we at Game Freak are hoping to achieve going forward. Hmm. We hope we've been able to get you excited for the continuing adventures waiting for you in the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. still other Pokemon stuff that I want to know about. offers a different adventure. We'll do our best to fill it to the brim with adventures like you've never experienced before. <laughs> They're like, we know you're pissed about the last Pokemon game, so... Whether you're just starting with Pokemon Sword and Pokemon <laughs> Shield, or you've done everything there is to do, we'll do our best to develop something that everyone can enjoy. Stay tuned for more updates in the future. All right. Well, that was uh, thanks to everyone from Game Freak. This good. The Pokemon Sword expansion pass. Kind of thought there was going to be more announcements, pass, which contains but both the Isle of Armor it's good. and the Crown Tundra. I am excited. Will be available for pre-purchase on bucks, Nintendo huh? eShop later today. Uh. You'll also be able to access Nintendo eShop directly from the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield menu. I do you think the expansion the pass update for the your DLCs As a look good. Bonus, we've also prepared some clothing <laughs> items that can be used starting today. Of course, Pikachu and Eevee. Pokemon will continue to try new things in 2020 to bring fun and joy to people around the world. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. All right. Um, I mean, I don't have any big thoughts about this. It's you know. This Pokemon, it looks good. I'll probably be playing and recording the, um, the DLCs, um, and if I ever do convince my friend to get a Switch and Pokemon, then maybe we can record us doing some co-op stuff. Um, and, yeah. Uh, and the other game, the other Pokemon game, I'm not sure the, um, rescue whatever <laughs> uh i'm not sure if i will get that and play it i don't know maybe someone will convince me but uh yeah i am yeah busy doing um recording games and uh just uh look for new games on my channel and me finishing up playing um, Pokemon Shield and I'll catch you all next time.